I'm not really sure how this happened. It's been 15 minutes and I'm already so dirty. Hold on, Bobbies. Hold on. So, lately we've been taking three of the pups. Rodrigo's been taking one, and Kake takes one. And as much as we love cuddling with them on the couch and taking turns, Jordan and I, we really would like some good, good sleep. So, we've been trying to crate train them. Last night was our first night and it was only bound to happen to wake up and for all of them to be covered in poop. So this one just got her bath this morning. And you can hear her, she's so cold. You don't get the poopies out of you anymore, huh? Isn't that a good thing? Yeah. So I was talking, did you see me talking to Mac Daddy? Yeah, We've been know. having this little conversation over here, you know. Really? Like, hey, I want some of that food. Watch him grind up over there. <laughs> Thanks, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> and here we got lentils, beans, and corn. And then we're going to add in some oats and millet. And that's our organic chicken feed. We want to feed them what we want to eat. And a lot of the chicken food here is just full of hormones and chemicals and stuff. <gasps> Ooh, boy. Come on, Mac Daddy. Mm, was that good? And this is what the chickies have for us today. Two eggs. You see their production is way, low. way down. So we'll see how this does. I know these, these chickens are new. These hens are new. So I also wonder if they're still getting acclimated to being in a different place. Another thing is kind of funny. The rooster, when we first got him, didn't make any noise for the first week. You know, your typical rooster call in the morning at 5 a.m. And just yesterday morning, he started. And I have a feeling it's because he's starting to get a little more confident, a little more comfortable here on our farm. But it's all good. That's what living on a farm is all about. Sure. Today we're gonna to be installing a home biogas digester. This isn't sponsored by Home Biogas. We paid for this. This is something that we've really, really wanted to install. And we thought about it for a while. We thought about installing it in our workshop for a while, but we had to go with propane. We bought a full range propane stove and an oven. So for us right now, we really don't need to install a home biogas system because what this does is it creates cooking gas out of compost and manure and water, which is just insane. But there is someone that I think could really, really use the system. Bro, can I move in with you? Peppa. Are you gonna sleep with me? What? Yeah. No. It's comfy in here. You're not gonna sleep with me. Why not? No. This is Rodrigo's house. This is a little tree house that he's staying in while he builds his house. And as you can see, there's no stove in here. There's no stove for him to cook on. So we're gonna try to get a stove in here for him. So it needs to go up at an upward angle. This would be the ideal spot, but do you want this to be like right here? Yeah, I, I, was, I was gonna make like a garden here. In this sack, we're gonna put water, cow poop, and compost. It's gonna create methane, and then it's also gonna create fertilizer, a liquid fertilizer that we can then use for our farm. Now that the land is nice and level and packed down, it's time to start assembling this thing. First things first, we gotta get the bladder in place. Have you guys seen the um, movie Jobs about CD? You wanna go for a ride? Come on. Ah, you're covered in poop, honey. Oh no. <laughs> now that we got the tank in place, we need to get 500 gallons of water down there. And we don't have 
public water. We only have rainwater. So we went to a nearby farm and filled up this 250 gallon tank that's in the back. And now I'm gonna try and drive it down. Woo! Woo! Big ditch. Lola, what are you doing? Don't eat your watch. Now we just need to wait for all the water to siphon. Probably take about 30 minutes. Yeah. And in that time, we said we go get some poop, huh? Let's go get some poop, baby. We got the whole pack in full force today. We're walking down the road. We're gonna go and try and find some cow poo down the road because there's none over at the farm next to us. And we need a lot of it for this bio, biogas. And this is kind of the dream, the pack attack, you know? Yeah. Because we want to get a big dog. We want, originally we were like, Let's get something like 80 pounds, 100 pounds. Yeah. But we kind of just took what we could get. And Katie was saying how, you know, five medium sized dogs is like the same as one large if dog. If not better, you know? Now we got the full pack, pack attack. Pack attack, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's gonna be Gillis, baby. Don't do it. Right Don't do it. Yeah. Yeah, baby. All the poop. Let's so we poop. found our first culprit to eat poop. Oh, now we got two. Oh no, 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 Alma, please! <laughs> yeah. All I know is, even though that was just a quick five minute walk down our dirt road, these puppies are gonna pass right out because they're so, so small still, that for them that was like such, a, such an exercise. So the biodigester is now full with 1400 liters, it's almost like a water bed. And this is where all the poop and the compost and the food, it all breaks down. And now what we need to do is take the gas bag where the gas all goes from the anaerobic breakdown process of all the food. And then the gas goes up and into this bag and is stored in here. Now we need to create pressure because when this fills up with gas, we need a way to force it through a gas line into a stove and then light that on fire to light the stove. And we're gonna create pressure with bags of sand. Each one of these bags holds a liter of sand, so all we need to do is fill it up with dry sand, and then just stick these bags in these pouches. And the weight of the sand presses down on the bag, which creates pressure with the gas. 50 liters of sand in bags, and all these pouches, but we're calling it for a day. Sun setting, it's getting cold, and I, I really, really want to shower. I'm pretty dirty. There's nothing like a little puppy love first thing in the morning. <laughs> As you guys know, Surfshark has been sponsoring our videos now for a little over a year, and they're sponsoring this video today. So if you guys don't know what Surfshark is, it's a VPN company, which basically means they keep all of your very, very important information safe. If you're in a public setting, such as a library or a cafe, and you're connected to the public Wi-Fi there, you're basically broadcasting all of your private information to everybody else that's connected to that Wi-Fi. What a VPN does is it acts as a middleman between you and anybody that's trying to steal your very important private information. So one of the biggest reasons why Jordan and I love Surfshark is how easy they are to use. So we basically just keep them on our phones, in the background of our phones, and our computers all day long. And the reason why we will always stand behind Surfshark is they've been supporting us for over a year now and have allowed us to build out this dream of ours and get all these animals and hire the indigenous guys that work for us and have this, this farmily that we've created. So if you guys are interested in trying Surfshark out, you can click the link in our description box below, use our code NOMADIC, get 83% off and three months for free. We've been working on crate training the puppies and right now we're putting all three in this crate because they like to cuddle. 
And hey, 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 there's too much poop in there. A big reason why we want a crate train is trying to keep all the mess in one place. And while it definitely does keep all the mess in one place, it still is a mess to clean up. Good girl. How you doing, Bruce? Good, how are you? For those of you guys who don't know, we've actually been working with a college class to help design the plans for our house. So we've been meeting with them um, like every other week or so. I think because they're in school, they may have a little bit more of that young, creative mind. The plans that these guys have been coming up with have just been blowing our minds. They're just so creative and so innovative and just really, really cool. And it's really helping Jordan and I kind of refine exactly what we want when we start building our actual house house. Is that a Christmas song? Yeah, Christmas in April. I feel like that just like Christmas week is just always just flowing through my soul, baby, you know? <laughs> this is it. Bagel, cream cheese, and bacon, honey. This is all I've ever wanted and more. <laughs> this is what lunch looks like when you have a pregnant girlfriend. Cheers. <laughs> Every day on the farm is unpredictable and we generally don't know what's gonna happen next. But there's one thing that I know for sure today and that is today is gonna be full of a lot of poop. Good girl. Good girl, let's see if you can get by the roadblock. Let's see if you can get by the puppies. Come, come on. Come on, honey. Come on, sweetie. Good girl. Good girl, what is it? <laughs> Yeah, all right. There's just a couple quick steps left. First thing I need to do is just put in this gas filter. Nope, nope, nope. And now I just need to install these hoses, and this is where the fertilizer comes out. Come here, come on. And finally, I just need to install the hopper on this end, and this is where all the compost and poo and all that good stuff goes in. Just like pull yeah. down with you? Yeah, not too hard. Okay. And you know what time it is now, sweetie? It's pooping mixing time. Time for the poopy pot. I'm ready for the poopy potty. Take one bite. How, how many dollars? Ten. No way. At least twenty. <laughs> Look at these babies. Oh my god. It's crazy. It's already been a little over a week. Probably like a week and two or three days since we've had them. And man, do they grow fast. I mean, they always tell you that, right? But it's crazy. Like we're with them all day long so we're actually like fully witnessing you know their growth and not even just physically but just how they're acting and it's crazy man we're all out of poop and we're only about halfway there so we got to go for round two but the good news is there's some cows right there laying down some freshies for us it's crazy you guys looking back when we first bought the land, when we actually, when we first came to look at this land, we thought that this whole side was also part of the deal. It ended up only being half, which is across from the barb barbed wire fence over there. But Jordan and I always dream up one day, if they can drop the price down just a little bit, <laughs> to buy out this whole other side here. The people selling this land are actually selling it for over four times the price that we bought ours for. I know. So, we'll a little see bit what more than that, actually. We'll see what happens with time, but we might, if we ever want to expand, we're starting to realize we might need to, uh, well, first teach our puppies not to eat the poop. 
Hey. <laughs> well, we might need to look for something like a tenth of a mile away or something that we need to walk to if we want to expand the agriculture and the whole community aspect one day. But yeah. that's down the road. You know what's crazy? I feel like I look so pregnant right now. Especially after that plate full of pasta and meatballs. We got an epic stare down going on. Look at the mismatch. It's a real David versus the Goliath. They'll be alright. We'll protect you. You don't have to worry. They're just cows. On you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's for that, honey. I'm not gonna shower tonight. No, 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 no. Just for you, honey. No. You get poop on me, you don't get a shower, Kaylee. No, no. <laughs> that was a poopy day. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I poop everywhere, honey. Well, I'm going to be very excited for the day when first. We start being able to get liquid fertilizer from this and then also gas that like Jordan and I are just trying to wrap our minds around this whole thing and how this thing is actually going to work because it's just mind boggling. It's just this giant sack full of poop, full of poop and food and garbage. And somehow this thing is going to produce amazing fertilizer and methane gas to cook with. We've been saving these kitchen scraps now for a while knowing that we're going to do this. And we just found out that right now we can only put three liters <laughs> of waste in, which isn't that much. <laughs> Woo! That's satisfying, honey. Yeah. And there you have it. One biogas digester just waiting to start pumping out some nice methane gas right out of this tube that we're going to run to Rodrigo's workshop. And that's where his kitchen's going to be while he's building out his house. So he'll definitely get a lot of use out of this for maybe a year and a half, mm -hmm. maybe two. And if it works well, then you can just run it right over to his house and keep it going. But we gotta test it out first before we totally commit to that. And that's what this is, a big experiment. It is something that we all could eventually start doing. And we definitely will if it works really well. What is it? I think they heard mama getting the food. <laughs> oh, it's on. We got one over here. <laughs> we got one over here. One right here. All done, bubbies. Oh, num, 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 num. I would call this a puppy churning day, crate churning day, a success. These guys are passed out. Kaylee's passed out upstairs. I'm going to bed. So, see you guys next time.